New tonight, bringing casino gambling to Tiverton. Residents attended a town council meeting at the high school tonight where they voted whether or not to move forward with a plan to bring a casino to the town. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan was there. She joins us now with the outcome and reaction from taxpayers. A decent crowd of about 100 residents gathered inside the auditorium of Tiverton High School on Monday evening. About half are against a casino, about half are for it, but most of them agreed on one thing, and that is to let the voters decide. I'm for the casino, and I hope you vote for all the citizens in Tiverton to at least have an opportunity to say yes or no. That's what Tiverton Council did, voting 6 to 1 to request the General Assembly to put the referendum on the ballot next November. There were plenty, though, who opposed the idea of a casino. It's just not a good image for Tiverton. A dollar lost at a casino is a dollar that doesn't get spent for something tangible at Humphreys or Coastal Roasters or CVS. There is no way that this is going to benefit the people of Tiverton. Your taxes are not going to go down. But others argued the proposed casino would give residents a tax break and also create jobs. I'm proud of what I do. I, uh, I clean machines. I pick up the trash, I clean toilets. And for the idea that anyone's getting $6 an hour, it's ridiculous. I make $60,000 a year doing this job. What's still a year before the November election, casino chairman John Taylor says he's grateful the council is taking this first step forward. We got to continue to develop our relationship and trust with the town as well as the voters statewide to ultimately uh, to ultimately succeed. We've spoke to Lincoln Town officials. They've been very happy with the relationship they've had with the casino in the state. And I'm hoping to have the same kind. Now, a big point of contention among Councillor Souza was to make sure that Tiverton gets a guaranteed $3 million from the state. The council agreed to continue to talk to legislators to try and get the best deal. Now, the council president also urged voters to make sure that they are informed when they head to the polls next November. Reporting in Tiverton with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.